Hey, good morning and welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus. We're in chapter 25. I've kind of been wanting to come to this spot here, the last 15 chapters of the book and uh, 16 chapters, because this is where we get into the sanctuary, the tabernacle, and very much neglected by most people. But we're going to read today just one verse. Uh, we're up to verse 17. Exodus 25, 17, here's what it says. You shall make a mercy seat of pure gold, two and a half cubits long and one and a half cubits wide. Now, this is the same measurement that the Ark of the Covenant has, and the Ark of the Covenant is more or less this box uh, without a top, and then this is going to be the part that goes on the top. Okay, so this is going to be a piece of solid gold, exactly shaped, the same size, so it will go right on the top. It's a lid, basically. And it's often been called, uh, I think Luther was Nardstuhl, uh, the German for Luther was Nardstuhl, the mercy seat is the translation, but it's been called the seat of expiation, the propitiatory seat, uh, just the cover and so on. It's kind of hard to know what to call it. The Hebrew word for it is the kaporet, literally the cover. Uh, the cover of atonement is one way that I also have seen people refer to this. So this is an interesting piece because the law is below it and above it's going to be the presence of God. But anyway, let's focus on this uh, bit here, this piece of furniture in particular. Uh, some people say, well, no, this is part of the ark. No, it's, well, it is and it isn't, right? It's described separately. It's described distinctly on its own as its own piece of stuff. So it's kind of part of the ark, certainly involved in, in, in the ark, and yet it's described separately. So we're looking here at the cover, the mercy seat, so to speak, the caporet. So as I said, this is a slab of pure gold that's two and a half cubits long. No, a cubit's 18 inches and one and a half cubits wide. So yeah, this is quite a quite, quite a quite an item here, and it's pure gold. So this would be actually pretty heavy. It's not just gold. Uh, it's not just gold spread on top of a wood base. This is solid gold. I want to come also back to another comment from Sarna, page 161 of his commentary. The Kippurah was far more than a mere lid for the Ark. It was a distinct entity with its own identity and symbolism. The Ark and Kippurah are listed several times as two items in the various inventories of the contents of the tabernacle. The fact that the Kippurah has its own instruction formula and, its own, and that its dimensions are separately measured reinforces this conclusion. So I probably didn't quote him exact here, but that you get the idea here. Uh, Sarna sees this and is pointing out that the cover, the lid, is, is in essence something distinct in itself. Now we're not done talking about the Kippurah because we're going to talk about the cherry beam on it tomorrow morning. See you then.